delighted. Today we prepared something truly special for you. So special that I cannot wait anymore. Let's get it started. Do you remember the story of Natalochka that we showed you last year? Yeah. If you don't, that's not a problem. We have a quick recap for you. Natalochka is a Ukrainian freshman who came to LTC last year to study International Business Administration. Her family was both upset since their little girl had to leave the nest and proud for her big accomplishment. They made sure to pass all of their knowledge, wisdom, homemade pickles, and salad to Natalochka before she left for Lithuania. So Natalochka came to LCC found lots of new friends, built tremendous plans for the spring semester, and simply enjoyed life. But suddenly, the pandemic started. And how was it for Natalochka and her friends? You'll see in just a moment. And now, please make yourself comfortable and enjoy. We haven't talked for such a long time. How have you been? When are you planning to come to LCC? Because I am already here. My array training has already started. It was fine. Was okay. Okay, okay. I want to hear everyone's stories. Petro, how was it for you? How do you feel about our online spring semester? I'm glad you asked. It was terrible. So, as you might know, I live in a very, very, very small village near the Russian mountains. And my summer was terrible. I had to do all this stuff. And you know how your grandparents treat you in Ukraine? I get 10 kilograms during the break. And you know all these household duties I had to do? It was terrible. And the, most, the biggest problem was the Wi-Fi connection. It was the worst. Three potatoes. I want to sell them at the current market price. 
uh, people in my village need seven potatoes. If I sell those three potatoes, there will be a shortage. Great job, Petro. <laughs> honey, honey, you wanna eat? Wow, I just had a bush an hour ago. I did fresh variety with homegrown potato. I cannot resist bring this here. My teacher is in America. In America? But we are professors! Wait, you are studying in English? Yes. Everything in English? Yes, everything. You understand everything? Yes, yes. In America, in computer, but you know. Oh, that's so fun, but so cute. I should meet your parents, grandparents one day. Sveka, and I remember you live in Odessa, near the Black Sea. It's the biggest one in Ukraine. So, how was your summer? You know, I actually enjoyed it. You know, because of the COVID, a lot of people were scared to go to Turkey or to Egypt, but Odessa, that was a thing this year. На недельку до второго я приеду в Комарова, Поглядеть отвыкшим глазом на Балтийскую волну, И на море буду разом, кораблем и водолазом, Сам себя найду в пути, если часом задавлю. Tired looking up and down. 
largest food market in the US. Oh, wait, wait, I want to get that. So yeah, even though I didn't get to go to work and travel for Ibiza this year, I really enjoyed my stay in Ukraine and realized how much I love it. Yes, Ukraine is beautiful and COVID-19 really helped me realize it. And what about your quarantine in Kyiv, Valik? I wonder how life in the capital was. First of all, please call me Valentin, I'm not Vali. Secondly, it was supposed to be super exciting and fun, as my LCC friend from Kazakhstan came to visit me during spring break, but something went wrong. <laughs> my flight was cancelled. Don't worry about it at all, you can stay here for as long as you want. I can show you everything. In two days you'll feel like local. We can go to Kushatik, we can go to Independence Square, we can go to the Glass Bridge, we can go to Pijuka Center, we can go see different monuments, we can go see the Kishak Korif monument, we can go to that street and that place, we can also go to Puzata Kata, we can go to Abuhim, Burispil Airport, and then we can go to different Vachonesi and many other places. Don't worry. Okay. Anyways, I don't have any other choice. Well then let's get started right now. We have so many things to do and so many places to visit. Welcome to the cultural and actual capital of Ukraine, Kiev. First, we will go see the deepest natural station in Europe, which is called Arsenalna. It is 105 meters below the ground. So beautiful, so deep. There are so many people there. You have never been to a metro station that deep. So cool, so cool. <laughs> Closed due to coronavirus. Um, I'm sorry. Um, no, it's fine. Well, Kiev is a huge city. Let's go to Kiev of Pajerska Lover then. It's a huge orthodox monastery. The architecture is amazing. It's, it's so beautiful, so spiritual, such a unique historical place. I bet you will love it there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, they are close too. It's an oh. iron tool, don't worry. No, 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 no. You gotta see the Pinchuk Art Center then. It's a modern art museum where there are works of both Ukrainian and international artists. It was opened by the billionaire Viktor Pinchuk. You gotta see that. But it seems like everything close right now. No, no, no. Trust me. It's Kiev. Life never stops here. You see? Tourists. <laughs> But if you don't want to go to the museum, it's okay. It is all for you. It is Ukrainian hospitality, you know? So if we are not going there, we can go eat. You're hungry, right? Sure, we can go much. Okay, then let's go to Posata Kata. It is right on the corner. You can find lots of different foods there. All traditional Ukrainian dishes. Borsh, vareniki, pampushki, kolodets, deruni, kampot, anything you want. Delicious. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I am so excited. I'm Me so too. hungry. I'm starving. Well, uh, seems like everything is closed now. I really can't believe this is my key of the heart of Ukraine. I'm really sorry. I, I really wanted you to have a real Ukrainian experience and not this. Sorry. Don't worry. It's fine. I'm so happy to be here anyway. Oh, sorry, mom is calling. Hello? Valusha, come home. You are almost ready for Easter. Mom, no, I'm Valentin, not Valusha. You know this. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Love you. Bye. Okay. So we cannot go to places, we cannot go sightseeing because of Corona, obviously. But you know what it can take away from us? Our spirit and our traditions. 
Let's go home. I have something special for you. Every Easter we have special traditions. We are making bus, gathering coloring ads. Also, the whole family is gathering very early in the morning to go to the church service. It's such a blessing that you can join us this year. Wow, I didn't know that you had that kind of experience. That's so great! Guys, I cannot wait to see you all here at LCC. Guys, can you hear me?
our mom says, Sweetheart, you don't need the Zara in H&M. Let's go to our local bazaar. They have the most fashionable clothes there. We say, honey, our grandma prepared for us 20 acres of potatoes today. And really, that's beautiful! Ukrainian mother is done and shy. Sweetheart, one day you can find yourself the best man for all life. They say, have you already met our friend Angela's son? He will be a perfect match for you. And we In Ukraine, parents don't say, wow, you have such a wonderful and unique style. They say, is it really trendy now? Because back when I was young, nobody would wear that. Better go wear that woolen sweatshirt we got you two years ago. And we think that's beautiful. In Ukraine, we don't say, I had a bad childhood. I had never been to Disneyland. We say, I had the best childhood ever. Every summer I will go to village of my grandparents, I would ride the bike with my friends and borrow some apples from my neighbor's garden. And we think that's beautiful! But you know what we do in Ukraine for sure? In Ukraine? We feel proud of our history and culture. So proud that we even have several cultural capitals. In Ukraine, we respect the traditions and pass our knowledge from one generation to another. In Ukraine, we are always ready to help and support those in need. Trust me, we all host friends of the friends of the friends and share everything we have to make sure others are well. In Ukraine, we are hospitable, we are open-minded, we are generous, and most importantly, we are always happy to see you, all of you. Visit Ukraine and check it yourself. Why, Why we